ekibinde e, görev yapıyoruz. Bu arada sesim geliyor değil mi? E, az önce çünkü bir durma evet. işareti. Tamam, güzel. E, arkadaşlar geçen yıldan beri ben bu görevi yürütüyorum. 2019 yılından e, sonlarına doğru aldım görevi Nurcan öğretmenimden. E, Bahar öğretmenimle birlikte İzmir Destek Ekibi'nde e, çalışıyoruz. İzmir genelinde eğitimler e, gerçekleştiriyoruz öğretmenlerimize. Yine eğitimin kalanında herhangi bir, bir desteğe yardıma ya da projelerle ilgili ya da Erasmus ya da herhangi bir alanda bir desteğe ihtiyacınız olursa biz İzmir İl Milli Eğitim Müdürlüğü'ndeyiz. Sizleri bekleriz her de ayım sizlere kapımız Açık. Alo Akbar! Alo Akbar! Alo Akbar! Sorry. No problem. I'm trying to find that person and I will remove him. But... Okay. I removed uh, Bahar. I removed him. Thank you. You're awesome. Okay. Teşekkürler. So, ee, everything, okay. Technology has been really out of order. <gülüyor> so that's why we hear this kind of sounds because of COVID-19. Oh, evet. Devam ediyorum. Çok da tutmak istemiyorum açıkçası. Söze başlayınca bir türlü bitiremiyorum ben. <gülüyor> Müdürüm de her daim e, söyler bunu. Evet arkadaşlar çok da zamanınızı almak istemiyorum. Bu güzel çalışma için sizleri gönülden e, tebrik ediyorum. Oyunlaştırma konuşacaksınız bugün. Bahar Hocam e, sanırım anlatacak çoğunlukla. E, ve güzel de bir konu seçmişsiniz. Çok faydalı hem öğrenciler hem öğretmenlerimiz e, adına. Bu e, konuda da sizleri tebrik ediyorum. Yabancı partnerlerimiz için de minik böyle bir e, bir şeyler söylemek isterim. E, aynı zamanda Hello dear friends. E, I'm Ayla Savaşçı. I work as the Itwinning Ambassador at Izmir Provincial Directorate of National Education. Uh, we work with uh, Bahar teacher, my dear friend Bahar teacher uh, in Izmir. Uh, also we give uh, project trainings uh, to the all uh, teachers of Izmir. Uh, I would like to congr uh, congratulate all uh, participants and countries on this pro beautiful project. Also, I believe you will take national uh, quality level uh, with your projects. Uh, it's really, really great projects. I wish good luck and success to all team. And I can see this team really, really uh, big, also a perfect team. Uh, good luck to all of you and hello uh, from Turkey too. Thank you. Bye. Bahar hocam. Teşekkür ediyorum. Başarılar diliyorum. Thank you. I really thank you. That's a big honor to welcome you here and to see you to see your lovely faces, let's say. Thank you so much. Uh, it's really great honor for me too also uh, to participate in your uh, meeting, uh, Bahar. See you. Bye. Bye. Mustafa Hocam bir şey mi söylemek istiyorsun? Ee, şöyle benim bir görevim var da şu an. E, oraya ayrılmam gerekiyor. Çok ee, teşekkür ederim hocam. Hani gelmeniz benim için acayip onur eyvallah. Çok teşekkür ederim. İnşallah. Görüşürüz, yine görüşürüz inşallah. <gülüyor> görüşmek istiyorum. Tüm arkadaşlarımızı e, bir çay içimliği mesafedeyiz İzmir'de. Kimin yolu düşerse buyursun gelsin. E, i̇nşallah orada da ağırlamak isteriz. Bir çay ikram etmek isteriz. E, emeğinize sağlık diyorum tekrar. Görüşmek üzere. Kusura bakmayın. Ederim. Özür diliyorum ayrıldığım için. Çok önemli değil hocam. Çok teşekkür ederim. Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. Hoşça kalın. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Görüşürüz. Görüşmek Arkadaşlar, üzere. Görüşmek üzere müdürüm. Arkadaşlar Bahar öğretmenim ben de ayrılmak e, durumundayım. Başarılar diliyorum. Detaylarını alacağım ben sizden. Okay, I'm recording it. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yes, let's start our meeting and I don't want to take your lots of time. Okay, so, let's start. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about gamification in 21st century schools because our project is called 21st century schools and in 21st century schools gamification is getting popular and popular. So that's why we need to integrate it into uh, our education or our courses. Uh, nowadays, when we look around, we see the kids with their mobile phones and they are usually on social media or, or 
they are playing games. For example, when you ask them Roblox, they say, oh, teacher, I'm playing that. Or when you say Brawl Stars, they say, yeah, that's great. So their eagerness to the uh, games make the education less successful. That's why we need to integrate our courses into yeah. game education. And there are a lot of details how we can integrate gamification in 21st century schools. Sorry. It didn't continue. I'd like to introduce myself. First of all, uh, I am an English teacher and also I am Game Pet, Turkey volunteer and also Game Hub Thinking Ambassador. And I also conduct Erasmus projects and also Itivinik projects. So that's why I would like to express my ideas and give details about gamification uh, for our project. Now I'm going to send you a link on the chat part and I would like to do this quizzes game about gamification in order to check your knowledge and also while playing please control your feelings and sometimes think how do I feel what's my feeling and then we're gonna talk about it okay Bahar, okay. are we gonna uh, play Kahoot or something else yeah yeah similar to that one okay okay can you send it on the Discord group because I'm in No, I can't hear. Sorry. Just on the chat part. Lina, you have it on the chat part here. Okay. Good. When you are done, please make thumbs up or tell me that you're done. Or let me, um, let's make it live. It's, it's much better, I think. Just a second. Let's make it live. It would be much easier for all of us. Dear Bahar, please try to send the link again because it was not sent in the chat box. No, really? it's, it's, no, no, it's, it's okay, in huh? chat. No, it's okay, yeah. Now you see. Yes, it is, yeah. Okay. Let's see okay. who is you, uh, Joanna, do you see it? Joanna. Uh, yes, now I can see it. Okay, that's great. Teacher, I did. I opened it. Okay. okay, thank you. It says entering your name oh. and start. Okay, just send, uh, enter your name, please, there. Uh, what is uh, the name of the quiz? My name, I wrote Lina Mamishu instead of Lina Mamishi. Uh, yes, uh, and your country. I'm sorry, teacher. What is the name of this quiz? Okay, you'll see it later. Lina, you can ask your questions after the meeting to me or Arlinda. Okay. A uh, teacher, like I can't, uh, I can't uh, do my. Don't uh, worry, it's not very important. Country. Thing. <laughs> I can't okay. do my country because. Okay, it doesn't it's... matter. It doesn't matter. Just write Lina. That's okay. Uh, can I start now? Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. I will start it. We'll start it together. Okay. Here I didn't join. Can you wait just a minute? I will, I will join now. Don't worry if you can't join. Yes, I will start. Okay, you can. Teacher, I mean, can, teacher you? can you wait uh, two minutes, please? But we have a long presentation, dear.
I don't know how you felt, uh, but let me continue from my PowerPoint presentation. So, while playing game, it was great. Yeah, I want to ask some of friends their feelings. How do you describe your feelings when you play that game? Arlinda, could you express your feelings? How did you feel? Uh, in, in fact, I didn't feel uh, comfortable because I was playing with my students so that I didn't want to, to play with my students. That was the worst thing here. Otherwise, it was perfect. Yeah, but I would like to play with my uh, colleagues, not my students here. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> that was the, the worst thing here. Yes. Okay, you could. Otherwise, it was, uh, it was perfect, yeah. Thank you. Yuka, do you have anything that you want to share with us? What do you think? How did you feel when you play, when you were playing the nervous. game? I feel like very nervous. I you feel like? Nervous. Nervous. Just nervous? Yeah, and I feel so stressed. Oh my God. But if you have, if you were the winner, so how would you feel? Excited. Excited, yeah. And, and also happy, it's huh? Great, it's the great game, but uh, I I was uh, uh, I was shaking and I want to win, but I came out in the end then. That's a bad luck, huh? Yeah. Yes. Now, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher, we can see your screen. Okay, okay, okay, great. Mm -hmm. So while playing games, we're sometimes surprised. We're sometimes just focused on the thing or the subject. Sometimes have fun and sometimes get angry because, oh my God, I can't do that. How, how can you. I do that? And sometimes really get angry. And sometimes you feel teasy. Oh my God, oh, I'm killing the guys or I'm winning the losers. Let's say. And we have different types of game players. So the game pet, England, uh, the head of the England, the uh, founder of the England game pet, uh, they, he created a um, survey to analyze your gamer type because you can be disruptor, 
philanthropist, socializer, achiever, free spirit, so everybody has different play, uh, game player types. So if you want to learn your game, gamer type, I'm going to share it on the screen. Okay, I'll share it on the chat part so you can learn what's your type and you can understand how games you will be able to play. Just a second, I will send it. I sent the link. So you can check it now or later on, it doesn't matter but I will continue my presentation. You quite you, who is from the United States and the, uh, the uh, most effective gamifier and expert in gamification has been created a framework about gamification. While you are creating a game into your classroom or for other things, for earning money, for example, you need to be focused on these eight cores. The games must be meaningful and you must show a kind of accomplishment and you must give some powers. For example, while playing game, I said, oh, you're doing, doing very well, so you must continue. Or while you were down, you were getting down, so I say you could do, be, do it better. So you have to make use of empowerment, empowerment as well and social influence, so leaderboards. And when you check the game, games and the leaderboards always uh, give a kind of social influence and you can share it on your social media. So you say, hey, I won, I passed the stage three or something else. And unpredictability, it's really important because something mysterious is uh, really um, attracting your mo motivation and also uh, your em emotions as well. So you wonder, oh, what's going to happen for the next part? So you must have a little um, curiosity and also uh, avoidance. So there must be some bad parts some uh, obstacles that you must go through and uh, you must also uh, integrate avoidance and also scarcity. It must be uh, unique in some way in your games because if it is the same uh, as the others, so uh, it won't be meaningful for the children and also for the, uh, let's say, consumers. And ownership, yeah, they must feel that they must find something in the games, something uh, in for themselves. For example, maybe a kind of law, a kind of school, a kind of, they must find something in common for their games. And the others are uh, important, but we don't have enough time for that. I can't uh, continue details. So let's see, one of the men, who is really famous gamifier? Come on. Come on. Yeah. He is Niels von der Linden and he is one of the experts of gamification. And he says that gamification is the solution for real life, motivational problems and long-term behavioral change in participants with game design techniques. It is an approach that solves by targeting. Indeed, in our daily life, we have a lot of gamification examples and you will see them uh, in, in my next slide. But if you wanna change a ki change kind of habit or if you wanna motivate your children or your students for something, gamification is one of the best way that you can apply. Uh, the work is essentially simple, routine, actions taken when encouraged. So gamification is um, one of the biggest encouragements that you can do for your students and also for your own children as well. And this 
this woman is very popular and when while he was um, talking about his uh, talking about her achievements he said that the opposite of playing isn't work it is depression so if for example when you get your uh, children's mobile or when you ban them playing game they say no no way i'm gonna be into the depression so she expressed it uh in 2013 but now we face it really uh, very badly let's say so games and play they are two different terms and games are distinguished from play play is free for games are rule based so when we say play there is no rule but when we say games there must be some rules so that's the difference which we use for the players and for the others. Let's see them uh, in examples. You see, she is just playing with the doll, with the toy and games. You see, she is playing Monopoly and Monopoly has some rules. So that's the game, not a play. So what about gamification in education? Why gamification we need? It is the use of game thinking and game mechanics in non-game context to engage users in solving problems. It has been studied and applied several domains with some of the main purposes being to engage. Engagement and encouragement are really important terms for the 21st century teachers, students, and also the schools. So if you encourage your students, if you please your students, if they have fun during the classes, they see that they can uh, manage that subject and they can be successful in every kind of work. Yeah. For example, they are the mother and the son. They are having a journey, for example, to Italy, to Rome, to Yashi, to uh, Istanbul, to somewhere else. Let's gamify it. If you count the trees and cars passing by, that's play. If you say, Hi, uh, and uh, let's um, count the trees while going there. And the first fifth car, who counts the first fifth car, uh, will will be the winner. That's a play. But the person who says the first the red car gets the kinder at the next stop. So if you reward that person, that's the gamification. So gamification concepts, you need to have a goal. You must use learning and it must learn, it must teach something or there must be some skills on that. It could be your mathematical skills or language skills or visual or audio. It's totally up to you. There must be achievement. It's really important because when students achieve something, they learn and they get into the topic. And challenge, challenge, you know, it's very common. Everybody challenges uh, to their friends, to their bodies, and they say, hey, let's make a challenge. Let's make tea challenge. Look, oh, I won. That's a big success. Yeah, I drank a tea, and that's a big success. But however, uh, challenge is really important for them as well. Reward, we're going to talk about it later on in detail about intrinsic and extrinsic uh, motivation. Competition, that's we must use and user engagement, they must be, they must find something in common for themselves. That's really important. However, I want to emphasize, indeed, uh, there wasn't a page just like this, uh, but I added that because I learned that last year while entering the GamePad uh, game uh, community. So, Gamification is completely different from game-based learning. We always say, oh my God, it's gamification or game-based learning. We always uh, uh, think that it's really uh, something confusing. But when we look at the details, we see that they are not the same. Introducing game-like elements into traditionally non-gaming context to make them more fun and engaging, it is gamification using points, leaderboards, competitions, reward system, such as badges, stickers, 
they are all gamification. For example, you say, um, if you if you win the game, I'm gonna give you a present. So that's gamification. But game-based learning is completely di different. Using games to achieve a defined set of learning outcomes. So, for example, we use Cram, we use uh, learning apps, we use uh, Game Lab, we use quizzes, we use Couch, we use Class Dojo. They are oh, not Class Dojo. I'm sorry. We use um, Gym Kit. They are all game-based learning. But after the game, if we reward them, if we give them some motivational sentences or motivational things about instrict and extrinct, that's gamification. However, I usually use both of them in my classes. And uh, for example, using Minecraft again to encourage creative writing to using lab times in Mario, they are all game-based learning. So you can both, you can combine both of them for your lessons, but they are completely different indeed. Yes, what is the benefits of gamification? There are many proven benefits of using gamification in the classroom. For example, uh, students feel like they have ownership over their learning. They say, oh my, yeah, I have it. I learned that. And thanks to the games, the, my students usually learn, them, learn the words very quickly because they like playing games and they like to win. They achieve something and they, when they get the first, get the best, so they say, teacher, I got it. Indeed, he learned that. But uh, of course, the perspectives of students and uh, teachers are usually different, but that's really uh, fun to uh, integrate game into the classes. And they feel more relaxed atmosphere in regards to failure. And sometimes I make them play very easy games. For example, sometimes we play games about months. Sometimes we play games about colors. So why do I do, why I do that? Because I would like to um, encourage the least successful students. So, for example, uh, let's give an example. Victor is the law, uh, is the worst student in my class, and uh, he always gets the lowest mark, lowest mark. But he knows colors because he has seen it lots of times. But when he gets in the third or the or the second or the fourth, he says, "Yeah, I can do English." So it's a kind of motivation for him. So he says, "Yeah, I'm not." A loser anymore let's say and more fun in the classroom we love it we love games learning becomes visible through progress indicators and i'm gonna talk about class dojo and you will see that students may uncover instructive motivation for learning so i'm gonna talk about it in detail again and students can use avatars can create their characters so it is a kind of gamification again Students often are comfortable in gaming environments and they are proactive and they are not afraid to look to making mistakes because it is just a game. So it is not a problem for them. So they get more conscious and they get courageous. Higher engagement and concentration levels amongst the students, the opportunity to think outside the box. Tests are no longer just about filling a worksheet. What are Hello? gamified? Yes, game shows. So what happens when they play game? They mentally, they do not pay any attention and mentally get away quickly. And teachers and trainers use game show to add fun to the classroom and using by some application applications. So you're gonna see them uh, in other uh, slides and it's Hello. Could you remove Mahmoud? Elchin, please. Mahmoud. Yes, done. Already done. Thank you. And it's also 
provides us quick and immediate feedback for the students. So how can we gamify our classes? We can make the students into groups, into teams, so they will feel like um, they will feel like they are a team and they will start collaborating and encouraging each other. And they need to have a goal that uh, I started from the seventh one. Oh my God. Uh, I must start the first. They must have a goal. At the beginning of the um, gamification lesson plan, you must have a goal. For example, students are going to learn simple facts, or students are going to learn how to ask questions in WH format, like this. And you can divide it into milestones and you can put them into the steps. So first of all, you're going to do that, you're going to do that, you're going to do that, just like this. And design your game board. So it's really excellent platform that Class Dojo and Classcraft, they are excellent gamification platforms. So if you, game, if you design it, so they will uh, see the progress and how they achieve and they can create avatars that's really enjoyable for them and create badges that's amazing and they when they get the badges they say oh my god i have it i have it even that's just a badge or just a certificate they feel honored let's say design a leaderboard leaderboard in your classes and considering uh, playing in games it's also important for example, I think everybody knows Duolingo. Duolingo has excellent gamification mechanics. And it's always, I don't know if you use it or not, it always sends you emails or messages. Hey, yes. you earn 200 XP in a day. Hey, you're doing great. You met your daily, uh, daily goal. Just like this, it's always motivating you to continue so that's the gamification and there is targets there are rules that you do and feedback three day strike continue and reward you earned 200 xp in a day and motivation at the end of it uh, they have a big motivation for example uh, they are learning english because they will go they would like to go abroad so they have motivation as well. They have a target as well, let's say. And Class Dojo, which is my favorite, my students love it. And we always, uh, I take the attendance in my Class Dojo class and I always give the uh, points in there. And after the game, I also say the first one will get five points and the second one will get four points and the third one will get two points just like this they are collecting the points after that for example last week in one of my class they um, passed uh, Yashar's rate because Yashar had the highest points but she passed and she feels really happy since then but what happened at the end nothing but she feels happy that's the main point students feeling happy and achieve for example you can also use gamification for late students and you can use black kings and black uh, queen and if they don't come to the class on time you can give them extra text or you can reward them that they come on time for example um you divide the class into two parts the front and the back the back and the earlier the students who come early sit wherever they want and the students who come on time they sit at the back of the class and the student who comes late sits in the front so that's a kind of gamification and at the end of that we say um let's say one girl and one boy um 
is chosen as drag kings and drag queens, and uh, they they um, protect the class. Let's say <laughs> they protect the class and they do whatever they want in the drag. And when the time is over, when the break is over, they close the door and the lesson starts just like this. It's a kind of uh, example for gamification. What about self-determination -determ -determ theory? There are two kinds of uh, motivation for game gamers, let's say for everyone. Extrinsic, extrinsic motivation and intrinsic motivation. So extrinsic motivation means a kind of reward, a kind of object which you can touch or smell. Uh, but intrinsic is the most important one uh, because it is not something that uh, you will give and they will forget. Intrinsic motivation is completely different one, uh, different the extrinsic one. And there are lots of dilemmas about extrinsic motivation and intrinsic motivation. However, every game expert always say that intrinsic motivation is much more important than extrinsic motivation. And look at the examples of extrinsic motivation, money, price, salary, promotion, that's a kind of object uh, which you can get. But instructive motivation is completely different. It's a kind of volunteering, ex being expertized, ultimate target, interest, wonder, passion, belonging. For example, I'm going to give you um, an example about it. For example, you're playing with your kids and uh, you say at the end of the term, I'm going to give you uh, I'm going to buy you a present, which is, uh, which, which will be a kind of trainers. I'm going to buy you trainers, for example. But if you say intrinsic motivation, at the end of the term, who is the best, who is the second, and who is the third, will be my assistant for the next year. And you're going to help me whenever I need it. So this intrinsic motivation makes them much more happy or um, having a lunch with me for example we're gonna have lunch the first and the second will have a have lunch with me or we're gonna sit and talk together because for students having time with the teacher is amazing is really uh, very important for them they feel themselves special so it's provide intrinsic motivation. And Mihail Shimaizeni, uh, your game must be not difficult, not too easy. It must be in the medium way. So you must catch the flow. So the students must be sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes in the middle. So they must feel up and down when they feel these uh, two opposite feelings that will be uh, more persuasive more continuous improvement Hello, um, yeah five ways to boost student engagement with flow theory and uh, you say you must try scaffolding Minimize distractions. Distraction is very important. Start with intrinsic motivation. So they must have a target to go abroad or to chat with um, different uh, the students from different nationalities, just like this. Help students monitor progress. They must see their progress and embrace students' choice and agency. So students must be in team as team also because they mustn't see them as competitors and also they must see them as friends well, if and during game when they compete with themselves it's it's called onboarding when they compete with the others it's called scaffolding and when they start 
collaboration with the others and it is the mastery level so gamification games has three three steps first onboarding second scaffolding and the third one is the mystery uh, mastery sorry and that's the germ uh, that's the british guy and he's also very important for gamif gamification world i think gamification is probably more like 75 percent psychology and just 25 technology uh if it's his idea you may approve or not it's up to you life is a cycle you see so the games are cycle again they start they continue and flow and at the end they say i achieved or i failed but failure is also another important component of games and trigger uh, external trigger and internal trigger the internal trigger um you must put some triggers during your game uh, design for example you must say yeah you did it but you can also do that so there must be some triggers some um encouragement let's say yeah more or less and the they must feel the trigger they must feel the encouragement and they must start the action and they must get the reward after that they must feel themselves that they must continue that thing so it is always in a circle the hook uh, near al he's awesome guy i really love his books and he is also the creator of hook model and you see trigger action variable investment so what do they mean for example i think everyone uh, shops at the booking booking.com and you see lost three rooms at this low price click and book the room and the contract the room details and i put into practice and save money booking.com so each of them makes you motivate and to buy something so that's a kind of trick of gamification and you see uh steps reward framework they start with stuff for example gift free items and then you give your students power and you can give them some more information special information that they feel themselves private and at the end they will get the badge or they will get the big reward let's say and that's gamification framework you first of all define your objective and then you define your behavior and describe your players device activity loop you know loop means it's continuing activity and don't forget the fun and deploy the appropriate tools so uh, it's also another important thing that we must consider and there are the badges that we can use for the classes and you can give for example environmentalist badge or you were a good listener today let's get you a badge you are very beautiful today you dressed very relevant for example you wore your uniform in clean way you can give this badge and uh it's up to you and cut off for example you broke the um, limits and cut off badge and quiz master you are the killer of the quiz you are the best in the quiz so you can give that badge. so you can create what badges you want it's totally up to you and messy table is a sign of messy mind what kind of mind is an open is an empty table signifies does it refer to empty head and i would like to show you some of the websites that you can gamify you can use game-based learning in your classes in your lessons Flippity is an excellent website that you can use. Gamelab is another important website that you can use 
for gamification. Krem, I think more of, most of you know that, especially the Turkish ones know it because we use it very uh, actively. And learning apps, again, it's easy to create a game there. And quizzes, genially, genially is one of the best, I think. You must uh, discover it as soon as possible. Game Builder, it's another important game uh, based website and it has lots of gaming mechanics kahoot i think everyone knows kahoot uh, it's very popular quizzes is catching up the kahoot nowadays i think and classcraft and class dojo they are also very useful websites for gamification not for game based learning and uh there are some online courses about gamification that you can uh, get uh, you can attend and you can get certificate one of them is leading change go gamification with game gameful learning i will also send it on the chat part and minecraft in education and that's really important minecraft in education you should get it european school net that's awesome course that i attended and it's really beneficial coursera it's not free the just first part is free but uh, it's again excellent course that i really recommend you and the game fed founder arjan Altu yilmaz saying is gamification is a human oriented business model and its strong point is the focus on human with being so games are focused on human beings so we must always put it in our front to use games for education for each detail of our life thank you it's over thank you for your patience <gülüyor> hocam <You're welcome. gülüyor> hocam ağzınızı sağlıkladım bir saattir hiç durmadan İngilizce anlattınız thank you <gülüyor> Is there any question about it? Let me stop it. Do you have any questions about gamification? No. No. So do you use gamification as teachers? I'm asking the teachers. Do you use gamification or game-based learning in your lessons? And what are the reflections of the students? Nobody is using. Oh my God. I, I'm using it. I'm using it and I think you should also try Bamboozle. It's it's also a, a fun uh, and it makes uh, lessons more interesting and exciting for students. I think that in this time, the time of pandemic, we have to use games to make lessons more interesting. There is no other way. And as, as you said, it, they can enrich our lessons. And so why don't use them? We have to use them. Yeah. To, to be successful in lessons and to, mm. to make students interested in online lessons, especially. Exactly. But during my face to face classes, I also use. Yeah. It. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's also beneficial. Uh, I really love gamification very much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think in future, uh, the games, uh, the lessons will be based on games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it seems so, but I'm not sure again, but uh, it seems so because students get bored easily. <laughs> yes, is there anyone who wants to say something? Did you understand what is the game? Let me ask, what is the difference between game and play? I want to say. Okay, Kibra. There, there is a rule in the game, but there is no rule. Uh, when you are playing play. right? yeah yeah have you known that before no <laughs> no <laughs> that's interesting that i learned that last year just like you okay thank you thank you marco do you want to say something marco is our partner also in our project hello tila and marco you haven't talked and alice oh welcome alice Hi, hi. Good afternoon. No, it's it's everything okay. I use some applications, but I, I I'm I'm gonna leave because I have a um, 
a class with uh, with uh, some students. Okay, okay, I'm, uh, uh, it's over indeed. Um, so if you don't have any questions, thank you all for your contribution and for your patience to listen to me in boring way. <laughs> and uh, if you want me to send the presentation, I can send you just send me an email or send me a message. I can send you the presentation and you can see the details uh, on yourself, okay? Uh, Bahar, okay. I would like, uh, one more thing. I would like to thank you for this detailed presentation. Thank you. And uh, I would like to send us uh, the presentation here. Okay, I will, I will. Though, though I was supposed to be the moderator and I was preparing. No, uh, I mean, no, so no, no problem, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Have fun and learn, dear colleagues. Thank you. Bahar, it was, it was a lovely presentation. Lots of interesting information. And um, if you could, um, I would like to receive all of this information because um, it's things that we know, but we don't really think about. Um, the idea of the playing and the gaming, um, it's um, all... Uh, so easy and we miss it. Um, so I would really like to see it with some more detail. Okay, I will send you. I will. Thank you. I have your email address. I will send you, okay? Thank you, Bahar. You got mine too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Flotilla, we can't hear you. There's something wrong about your connection. By, would uh, by the way, I would like to uh, to thank all our Bye. students. Congratulations. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Thank you. I thank you, Plotilla. I really miss you a lot. Really. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm turning. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Thank you. Thanks again. Bye bye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you on Friday. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. B